The term USB gets thrown around a lot, but very rarely do you see anybody explain what it is. Now, USB stands for Universal Serial Bus, and that's S-E-R-I-A-L. Now, let's break down each of those words. First of all, universal. What this means is it's a physical device that is built according to a universally accepted standard. All around the world, if you're making something that conforms with this USB idea, it's got to be made to exact physical standards in its construction and operation. It's universal, meaning accepted universally. Now, let's go to the last letter there, BUS, B-U-S. In computers, there's lots of data transferring back and forth, both inside the computer and to other computers or devices. It travels on wires. It's electronic data, so it's just electricity. But there's a special term for a wire or collection of wires that's meant to carry data, electronic data, and that term is bus. So inside a computer, you'll have lots of collections of wires running this way and that between different parts of the computer. And in order to get data out of a computer, you can have a bus. And what this means is there's a spot on a computer that you can plug something into where data can either go into the computer on it or out of the computer on it. So that's where the word bus comes from in universal serial bus or USB. And finally, serial. When we're looking at transmitting data, transferring data back and forth between devices, you can either send the pieces of data along one wire. So a one piece of data moves, another piece of data moves, another piece of, da piece of data moves, and they go all in order one after the other. Or you could actually have several wires that simultaneously can carry data on them. The difference between these two different modes of operation is called serial, where there's one wire and the data travels one piece after the other, or parallel, where there's multiple wires, each of which can be carrying some of the data that you need to move. So, a universal serial bus is a standardly accepted and constructed method for devising a physical component along which you can transfer data between computers and other devices, and that data is transferred one item at a time in serial. Now let's look at what they look like. So this giant piece right here, it's called a motherboard, and you don't need to pay too much attention here, except to know that this is inside a typical computer. And on this big giant board are most of the important parts of the computer that do the work. Now, this little section right here, this is something you'd see on the outside of a computer, and it's where you can connect things. You can connect things like a keyboard or a microphone or a mouse or that sort of thing, you know, a printer, a, you know, a display. But you'll see right down here, two different ports side by side. And these are universal serial bus or USB ports. This is where you make the physical connection. And you can see that inside, those are hooked directly into this motherboard. So data can go out through these to whatever device is connected or from that device in through here and into the motherboard. And again, this relates to the overall concept of why you have a computer in the first place, which is its purpose, to take in data, work with that data, and send that data on. And a USB connection is one of the primary ways to do that, one that's commonly accepted. Here's an example of a USB connector. And you can see this connector will actually go right in. Now, that actually went in the first time. One of the other things to know, it's a common joke, is that every single time you try, you'll get it backwards, have to flip it over, and it'll actually plug in. So there you have it, a USB physical connector, the USB port where it goes onto a computer, and the purpose of it. It's a way to allow data to come into and be sent out of a computer.